All right, folks, welcome to the channel. I'm guessing you're in the market for a new NVMe SSD. Well, you're in the right place. After my last tutorial on how to clone your SSD with free software, the question, what drive should I get, has become a common one amongst my friends, family, clients, and viewers alike. But everyone's needs and requirements are different. So consider this a friendly guide that can help you make an informed buying decision. We're gonna break things up into categories of drives. The categories are the best budget, all around gaming drives, and high-end performance drives. I'm an avid PC builder and have used a number of these drives and builds for myself and clients. So my experiences with these drives will guide my recommendations and hopefully help you choose the best NVMe drive for you. Now, if you're not sure what an NVMe SSD is, I do have another video with a detailed breakdown that you can check out. Let's talk about some drives. Budget and VME drives. If your pockets are the main concern and you're looking to save some coin, then these are the budget drives you should check out. Please keep in mind that prices I mentioned may vary depending on the region you're in, as well as if you're shopping during the sale seasons like back to school, Black Friday, or Prime Day. First on the list is the WD Blue SN5000. This excellent PCIe 4 drive is the successor to the WD Blue SN580, a model I frequently use for budget friendly upgrades and new builds. The SN5000 retains the same pricing but offers improved performance. Read write speeds now reach 5150 and 4900 megabytes per second, respectively. That's WD Black SN770 levels which was once considered a good gaming drive in its own right. So you'll be more than happy with this performance. WD's Blue Line is solid, reliable, and more importantly, the price is right. They offer in sizes from 500 gig to four terabytes. So if you're looking for a budget drive and a higher capacity, this one fits the bill. I think price-wise, the one terabyte is the sweet spot. You can typically find them running in the 55 to $65 range. Next. Another solid drive is the Crucial P3 Plus, a drive that's been on the market for a while, but continues to be a popular choice for people on a budget looking for a reliable drive with good performance. It's offered in the same storage capacities as a WD SN5000 and at similar price points. Read write speeds for the P3 Plus is at 5,000 and 4,200 megabytes, just a tad below the WD SN5000. Crucial makes great drives, the P3 Plus is also a drive I've used in multiple upgrades and builds. The SN5000 and the P3 Plus are great options. You can't go wrong with either in the budget space. You also get free OEM versions of a Cronus TrueImage with both drives, which makes system upgrades a breeze. Many of the smaller drive manufacturers don't provide a free utility to assist with that. So the ease of transitioning to a new drive is something to consider. That tutorial video I mentioned earlier can walk you through how simple that could be. Best all around drives for most users. Let's have a look at the drives I would consider best for most. And you can even put them in the gaming category. Drives in this category are getting better and better with every new release. They're great all around drives that offer excellent performance and will be perfect for gamers looking for higher performance without breaking the bank. First up in this category, is the WD Black SN7100, and it's the successor to the SN770, a drive I upgraded my laptop to over a year ago. That drive has been rock solid with speedy performance, no complaints whatsoever. At 7250 and 6900 megabytes, the read and write speeds of the new SN7100 is over 2000 megabytes faster than the SN770, even besting the more expensive WD Black SN850X in some metrics and can hang with Samsung's 990 Pro. Considering the price and reputation of those drives, at around $70 to $75, the SN7100 is punching above its class. You also get the free Acronis utility I mentioned earlier. This is my top choice in the mainstream value category. Next, we have the lesser known Lexar NM790. This is another high performance value drive that's also great as a gaming drive. I recently upgraded to this drive and another laptop in the office. I've been so impressed with his performance 
that I decided to add the four terabyte version as an additional drive in my production machine. It's at around $80 at time of recording, but it's regularly on sale. So if you find a deal, this is a great alternative to the SN7100. With read write speeds of 7400 and 6500 megabytes respectively, you're getting speedy performance that doesn't break the bank. Another great thing about these two drives is power efficiency and thermals. They both maintain lower temps under heavy load, meaning there's less chance of throttling, making them even better options if you're in need for a laptop drive. Now I have to include another drive in this category, and that's the crucial P310, because it's really good. As I mentioned in the previous category, Crucial makes great drives, and at current prices, the P310 hits the mark, especially when you consider price versus performance. Crucial lists read-write speeds of 7,100 and 6,000 megabytes per second. If you look at benchmarks online, there are some areas in which it's managed to edge out the Samsung 990 Pro, but it's said to run hotter than the other two on the list. So depending on the type of system you're looking to install it in, you may want to look at the version with the heat sink. But all in all, any of the three drives mentioned here would more than suit your needs. If you have any questions about different drives that you've been considering, or if you think some others should be included on this list, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I welcome the discussion. Now we get into my favorite category, high-end performance drives. If you're an enthusiast and a content creator like me, or even a gamer that wants the best of the best, then these are the drives you want to look at. All the drives on this list have DRAM cache. Actually, in this section, to account for the addition of some reasonably priced PCIe Gen 5 drives, we'll split this category into high performance and ultra high performance. High performance will be the best of the PCIe Gen 4 and DME drives, while ultra high performance will bump us up into the PCIe Gen 5 kits. First up, in the high performance drives is the Samsung 990 Pro. Samsung makes killer drives and if you're looking for a Gen 4 drive without compromises, then the 990 Pro is the drive to go with. Not only do they have the DRAM cache I mentioned, but also have built-in hardware encryption. Read-write speeds are listed at 7450 and 6900 megabytes. It's at the top of the range for Gen 4 drives. I have my experience building a few systems with this drive at its core. The machines were built to be workhorses with exceptional performance and the drives haven't disappointed. Those clients are quite satisfied. Another plus is, if you're upgrading, Samsung offers their Samsung Magician utility to help you migrate to the new drive. It's also documented that the 990 Pro has been a very good upgrade drive for the Sony PS5. So if anyone is looking for one of the best drives for the PS5, check the 990 Pro out. Next, we have the Kingston Fury Renegade, another monster PCIe Gen 4 drive. With 7,300 and 7,000 megabytes read-write speeds, this drive rips. I've had nothing but good experience with Kingston components, and this particular drive is no exception. It has a high endurance rating, making it perfect for heavy workload systems. An honorable mention here is the WD Black SN850X. It can be regularly found slightly cheaper than these and comes close to matching the performance of those drives. So if you end up looking at this drive, it wouldn't disappoint either. Now, if you really want to step it up and jump to the best of the best, then that means you must have a system or at least have plans to build one with PCIe Gen 5 compatibility. In this case, we look at the ultra high performance drives. Topping this list is the newly released WD Black SN8100. I've just replaced the Crucial T700 in my production PC with this and it's the fastest drive I've used thus far. The scorching read-write speeds of 14,900 and 13,700 megabytes are insane. These newer Gen 5 drives are more power efficient and run much cooler, providing better sustained performance. In testing, the SN8100 consistently hits its advertised speeds while maintaining cooler thermals than the T700 all while being available at much better price points than previous Gen 5 drives. And as we enter sales seasons, you will consistently find great deals on this drive. With that said, Crucial gets the nod again, 
for my next recommendation. The T710 is the latest in the T700 series. I've recommended and installed the T700 and the T705 in a few client systems, and these drives are beasts. The T710 clocks in with read write speeds of 14,900 and 13,800 megabytes per second, not far off from the WDSN8100. Truly, anyone would be satisfied with either of these drives. It's really just a matter of pricing in your region at that time. Buy whichever one has the better price. Links for all the drives, as well as to their software utilities, are in the description below. And I'll post all the great deals I find in the pinned comment below. I do have two additional Gen 5 drives I want to mention as well. The Samsung 9100 Pro and the Kingston Fury Renegade G5. Either of these drives could easily be swapped out with the two I'm on the list and you'd be happy. If you find them cheaper, don't hesitate. So those are my recommendations for the top NVMe drives of 2025. You know, technology never stands still. Different OEMs are pushing out new drives all the time. So I'll continue to update the description and pin comment if something new comes out that could supplant any of my recommendations. If you have any questions, or if you'd like to share your experience with one of the drives on the list, or maybe a drive I didn't include on my list, please drop that in the comment section below. While you're at it, if you found this video helpful, please smash that like, subscribe, and notification icon to be notified when I drop another video. And before you go, please remember, spread love, positivity, and try to be helpful to someone in this world today. And if you're looking for more helpful tips, check out this next video.